Hi guys, so I'm going to do a review today of the Goyard bag and more specifically the Goyard Alpine mini backpack. It comes in two sizes, the Alpine mini backpack and the Alpine MM backpack. I'll kind of get to the differences and the similarities in a little bit, but I kind of wanted to start with, because I'm a bit of a geek and I like knowing the history of brands and kind of all of the details and the reasoning behind the names and everything else. So obviously like the name Alpine is kind of like inspired by the French Alps. And the Alpine backpack is a reissue of the steamer bag which was really popular with the travelers back in the 20th century. Goyard is a French brand I only came across a few years ago. Obviously it's super popular in Europe and it's gaining popularity here and it's so so distinctive you'll see why in a minute. But it was originally started as Maison Martin or Maison Martin back in 1792. And then over the years, the name changed as different designers stepped in and it ended up as Maison Goyard back in 1853. So let's open this. It is the mini size. This is the yellow dust bag it comes in, the green box they come in, and this is the bag. So this is what I'm talking about when I say about the Goyardine canvas. So the kind of, it's really cool, the history, the story kind of behind the canvas. And it was created in 1892 by Edmund Goyard. And he was the first Parisian trunk maker to actually put his name on the canvas. So, but like a painter would kind of put their name at the bottom of a painting. He put his name in white on the canvas. And it also has the address of the Paris store in brown repeated twice. And the back. Now you see this Y shape. So that's kind of cool as well. It is a really intentional pattern. And that dotted pattern, triple chevron, juxtapositioned in a shape of a Y, references the log drives conducted by his ancestors. And is obviously Y is the central letter in the Goyard name. So that's kind of the history behind the Goyardine canvas and its creation. Okay, so now I kind of talked about the history for a while because it really interests me. I kind of like to know how brands came, up, came about, why they gained their popularity over the years. So it was really popular with the royals and celebrities as well. So that's another reason this kind of maison really, really took off. Oh, and then the other thing on the back I didn't point out was the Goyard stamp. What I really like about this brand as well, it's not just a French brand, everything's made in France. A lot of companies are like, there might be Italian brands, but they're made in Asia. So I kind of really like that everything is made in France with Goyard. So the Goyard backpack comes in two sizes. You have the Alpine Mini and the MM. So I'm gonna kind of talk about some of the similarities and the differences. Obviously the size is going to be different. So this is the mini, which is still a really good size. It fits your iPhone really easily. And it's 23 by 9.5 by 19 inches wide, 7.5 by 3.5 by 8.5 inches. And it weighs 0.3 kilograms. So it's a super lightweight bag. I really like that about this. Versus the Alpin MM backpack, which is 39 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters by 32 centimeters and weighs 1.8 kilograms. So quite a difference in the weight of them. Both the Goyard Alpine backpacks are made from the Goyardine canvas and Clemency cowhide. Color-wise, the Alpine Mini, you're gonna have more choices. It comes in 11 different colors versus the Alpine MM, which only comes in five colors, black, tan, gray, navy, and green. They might not be the specific names of those colors, but that's the colors they look like. So let's take a look at the actual bag. So both the Alpine Mini and the MM are really practical bags. The difference on the exterior is there's no back pockets on the Mini. The MM has an exterior zipper that folds down and it has exterior pockets. So you're not getting that on this one. The other difference is the way they attach the shoulder straps. So the Mini has these metal Caribbean clip systems. They both have the top handle versus the MM leather one, which has a gendarme key and studs. And then the strap passes through to make the shoulder straps. And it also has side studs on the MM. So in case you want to wear it as a cross body bag. I do like that these detach, you can wear it as just a top handle bag, as well as a bag. So with the Goyardine canvas, it is kind of a really nicely grained canvas, which you know my thing about lambskin. I love the look of it, but I hate bags that scratch. So I feel like this is a lot more durable on the bag. And then at the front, you have your buckle there to seal it. And then this to kind of like open the drawstring and close it. And then inside, you're going to have kind of more of that cream canvas. And there is one interior pocket right here. If you wanted to put your phone or, or your keys or credit cards or card wallet or something like that in there. So that's the inside of the bag. There's also a, another dust bag to put your shoulder straps in if you wanted to take those off and make sure they don't scratch. And then the base of the bag, it doesn't have the protective studs. I do tend to like on bags, but I feel like it's a good leather anyway, and it does kind of have that edging on it to protect it a little bit. 
So what would I style the Goyard Alpine backpack with? What would I wear it with? How would I use it? For me, it's quite a casual style. So I wouldn't be wearing it to the office or with business suits, not that I work in an office, but I would kind of wear it more kind of like with casual outfits, maybe like jeans or a blazer and short set or for city breaks so I'm walking around and don't want people just to be able to dip easily into my tote bag. I like that. I don't like wearing my backpacks on my back though in cities. I tend to either just use them as a top handle or have it on one shoulder so that I can see it and keep, keep track of it. But it is just a really good casual bag. And like I said, the size is really good. I'm five foot two, so bigger bags can kind of like overwhelm me. The mini is a really good size while still being practical enough to kind of get your phone and everyday essentials in. More of you have been asking to show what fits in a bag, because it's one thing kind of telling you the size, it's another thing actually showing you what fits. So let's start with my sunglasses case. It is a larger one. Pop that in, that went in nice and easily. I stole my husband's phone to pop in here because obviously I'm filming on mine. That fits in there, lip gloss and a small Denman hairbrush. They all fit in there really nicely and easily. So when I'm saying it's a good bag for every day, it is kind of a really good everyday size bag. Another thing I like about the Goyard Alpine bag is that there's different ways to kind of carry it or wear it or whatever you want to say. So obviously you can use it by the top handle only. You can use it as a backpack and you can wear it on one shoulder. So there are just different options of how you want to use the bag. When it comes to where to shop for Goyard bags, definitely Goyard boutiques are going to be your best bet. You know they're authentic, but in saying that, they're not the easiest to get to and there aren't that many of them. So you can get them pre-loved. Often they're in giftable condition from Fashion File. That's where I always recommend just because they guarantee authenticity. So price-wise, if you're wondering how much the Goyard Alpine backpack costs, it's going to be this much for the Mini, this much for the MM at the time of me filming this. They are expensive, but it is a luxury designer bag. And I, what I like about it, is it's kind of a lesser known. So I kind of feel it gives it a little bit more exclusivity than say a Louis Vuitton bag, just because you don't see as many of them and you are paying for quality, not just for a name. So I haven't personally seen the Alpin MM backpack in person. I'm just going off what I read on the website and checking out their features to compare the two. So if you have any questions about the MM, I would look at the website. I'll put the link below. Questions about the mini, feel free to drop me a comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe. If there's any other bags, watches, brands you want me to do a review of, drop them in the comments too to give me some more content creation ideas. Thank you so much for watching.